My name is Sandhya Naika and I come from Richards Bay. Uh, this is my third F FLC that I have attended. Uh, December 2017 was when I got diagnosed with cancer. And you know, the Lord was so amazing. The day before I went in uh, for the biopsy, He pressed upon my heart a scripture, Isaiah 41, 13. And that's what the, that scripture kept me throughout uh, the process that I've been through. Whenever I had fear, whenever I went for chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, whenever I've been, I was being poked all over and the pain, I knew he said that he's going to hold my right hand and he said, don't be afraid. And you know what? I actually literally felt him hold my right hand through every procedure. He was with me. When we came for the FLC in March, I was post-surgery. I actually shouldn't have even been there, but my husband and I traveled with a seven hour drive. And by the time I got to, um, to Johannesburg, I was fatigued, I was tired. Um, the surgery, the, the op started bleeding. Uh, um, I think the devil just didn't want me to attend the service. The morning of the service, um, you know, um, I didn't even feel like, I couldn't even get out of bed. My husband had to help me. When I came into the church, my, my legs were quivering. I was so weak and frail. I just wobbled down the aisle, took my seat and I sat there. And the moment I walked in, I felt the glory cloud in that sanctuary. I felt it. I could, I could actually, I, I think I could actually see it. That's how amazing it was. I said, Lord, I came and you're going to heal me. Lord, you're going to do something for me because you are my God and all my faith and trust is in you. Apostle Peter Diffin started the, the, the session. It was the first session and the first day. It had nothing to do with healing. He spoke about church structure, church growth, nothing at all to do with healing. He called up uh, altar calls and each and every altar call had nothing to do with me. It wasn't a calling for me. But I wanted to go forward because I wanted the man of God to touch me. And my husband said to me, he held me back, he said, no, just wait, just wait, God's going to do something. And we waited and we prayed and we've been praying. And before Apostle uh, Peter could give the mic over, his session was over, he said, wait a minute, someone's tugging at God's heart. God is saying, someone's tugging at my heart. He said, you've been crying out for your healing. And he says, there's a pastoral couple here that have drove all the way and they're crying out for their healing. And he says, God wants to heal you. God is calling you out right now. He says, the wife has terminal disease. And I knew it was me. And he called me out, he called us out and he prayed. And the, all the apostles prayed. And the moment I hit the ground and I woke up, I woke up a different person. I knew instantly that I was healed. I knew that I knew that I knew that I was healed. I carried on going for the chemo because the cancer markers were high, but it didn't bother me because I knew that I was healed. You know, my hair was supposed to fall again for the second lot of chemo because it was a stronger lot than the first, but it didn't. It just started growing so beautifully. And everybody that I sat with at the chemo, they had no hair, they, 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 their heads were plain bald and and they said to me what are you doing what are you using I said it's God it's only God some of them up till now their eyebrows haven't grown up grown on but God did it for me he's a faithful God and you know I just want to say if you out there and if you're going through what I'm going through or something similar I want to say to you stand on the promises of God because his word is yes and amen don't just hang on to his promises, stand on his promises. He is Jehovah Rapha. He will turn your bitterness into sweetness. He did it for me, he'll do it for you. I will say, Apostle Nikki, Prophetess Lillian, thank you. Thank you for hosting the supernatural. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for healing me. Thank you for locating me, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus.